Hello YouTube, so today I'll be showing you how to make a guessing game using Visual C Sharp using a console application. Okay, so let's start off this program. We'll be mainly using methods for this tutorial. So let's start off by setting the title of the console. Console title equals, and here we're going to set it as guessing game C Sharp console. Okay, and now let's make a new void. So static void introduction. And here we're going to introduce the application to the user. Welcome to Guessing Game C Sharp. Essentially, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be introducing to the game and pressing the key to continue. Here, we're going to have to make a method called Ask Data in which it'll ask the user what their guess will be. So what's important in this is we're going to have a global variable called guess which will interact between the different methods and ask data will get the data within it. So inside here let's do something similar to like a while loop in case the user doesn't enter a valid number. And now we're going to have a predefined range. So let's have, for example, 0 to 10 would be a good range. And now we would have guess convert up to 0. And here we have an OR. And we have console or right line invalid operation. I'll explain this in a little bit. You don't actually need brackets if it's a single if statement. Okay. So essentially what this does is it converts it to a 32-bit signed integer guess from console to read line it verifies to see in what range guesses if it's invalid so it's less than 0 or greater than 10 then it outputs this otherwise it stops the while loop from running now let's continue on let's make a randomize function here we would have a randomizing so you could have static int answer and then we can have answer and then here we can have it 10, let's do it this way so this is basically it randomizes it and then here let's have a static void and then in here display and do if and then guess equals equals answer and console our right line. Our answer is correct. Congratulations. Okay. Else. And I'm going to show how to improve this application right afterwards. So else console our right. And then here we're going to have a press any key to continue. Now essentially what this does is it verifies to see if it's the right answer and outputs the user whether or not it is the right answer. So now we need to conduct the flow of the application. Let's head back up to the domain. We're going to start off by doing an introduction. Well, and then do as data. We're gonna first randomize as data. Let's make this only run once. So I randomize it as data and display. Now if 
at if yes equal equals choice and let's break it let's make my method call goodbye and here we're gonna write thank you for using this So, if you guys, let's try out this application. Okay, well, press on the key to continue. Okay, please enter a three invalid answer. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Congratulations, it's right. Okay, it ends. Now we see a couple problems. So we want to first clear the data every single time we go here. So let's actually have a c.console.clear here. That works. Invalid answer. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, look, it's nine again. Okay. So now what we want to do is we could even have a counter which counts how many times the user has guessed. Now it's pretty easy to do. So let's first have a, a static int and let's call it count. Counter equals zero. Every single time. It heads over dash data. We do counter plus plus. Inside here, match slash slash n attempts plus counter. Valid answer slash n attempts. And then here we do plus counter. Press n key to continue. And three attempts one. And it was correct in the first try. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Uh, there's a lot of improvements you can do. I'll be posting the code in the description below. And if you guys need any help, please do not be afraid to comment below. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a nice day.